Graceway kids. I'm so excited that you're here. I hope you've had a great week spending time with your families and learning new things. Speaking of new things, this is the week we start our new unit called Dive In. We're going to be exploring God's word and digging deep into our faith. Hey, you know what we should do? We should sing about it. Yeah, come on everyone, get up on your feet and let's sing. hunted for shells on the beach? Have you ever seen something called a starfish before? So a starfish and shells are clues to what lies beneath the ocean. They tell us that there's creatures that live beneath the waves. And if all we do is stay on the beach, then how would we ever discover all the wonders of the ocean? Beautiful place. 
place you can't see without diving deep. It's called the Great Barrier Reef, and this underwater habitat is home to 1,500 species of fish, 411 types of hard coral, one-third of the world's soft corals, 134 species of sharks and rays, six different species of turtle, and more than 30 species of mammals. The Great Barrier Reef has so much to see and experience. It's a dream trip for many avid scuba divers who want to see one of the great wonders of the world in person. Of course, no scuba diver would dare head out to the Great Barrier Reef without assistance, especially a beginner. This underwater wonder stretches for 1,600 miles, covering 134,634 square miles of space. Put another way, the Great Barrier Reef is roughly the size of 70 million football fields put together. The Barrier Reef is so cool. So the Bible has two testaments and a total of 66 books and a few thousand years of history. Now, it may not seem as intimidating as the Barrier Reef, but let's say for the first time you dive in and you read something like this. And the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which you shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Whatsoever parteth the hoof. <laughs> and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud among the beasts, that shall you eat. Nevertheless, these shall you not eat of them that chew the cud, or of them that divide the hoof, as the camel, because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. And the coney, because he cheweth the cud and divideth not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. And the hare, I'm sorry, what? because he cheweth the cud and divideth not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. And the swine, <laughs> though he divide the hoof and be cloven-footed, yet cheweth not the cud, he is unclean unto you. Ooh, it's a little, little detailed. Of their flesh you shall not eat, and their carcass you shall not touch. These are unclean unto you. Got it? <laughs> <sighs> Do you think that maybe you could read it again? Are you confused yet? So just like the Barrier Reef, a first-time Bible diver needs a guide. Having a guide will not only keep you from getting discouraged, it'll also help you get the most out of your Bible. It's important to ask someone who knows the Bible, like a parent or an older sibling, to help you navigate it. Today's Bible story is a perfect example of how having a reading partner can help open our eyes to scripture. Philip baptizes an Ethiopian man. Philip was a Christian who was willing to go anywhere and tell anyone about Jesus. One day, Philip and some of Jesus' disciples were telling the people in the small towns of Samaria all about God's Son, Jesus Christ. And many people believe the good news. Then God sent an angel to tell Philip, 
Go this way into the desert. God has something for you to do. Philip listened, and he obeyed. He wondered why God had sent him to such a lonely place, but he knew that God's spirit was with him. God wanted Philip to tell someone about Jesus. But who? Soon, a very important man from the country of Ethiopia came past in his chariot. He was the boss of the queen of Ethiopia's treasure, and he was reading the words of Isaiah from the Bible. Philip asked the man if he understood the words he was reading. I can't understand them, he answered, and I have no one to teach me. So Philip explained to the man from Ethiopia how God had written long ago about his son and that anyone who believes in Jesus would become a child of God. I want to get baptized right now to show that I believe in Jesus, the Ethiopian man said. If you truly believe, then you can, Philip replied. I do believe Jesus is the Son of God, the man from Ethiopia declared. So that day, Philip baptized the Ethiopian man in the river. You want to share this story with your friends, or you want to read it with your family, you can do so in the book of Acts, chapter 8, verses 26 through 40. Hello, boys and girls. As you learned from Miss Nancy, these lessons are going to be about diving deep into your Bible, learning more about what's in there. So I thought for our first project, we would make something that helps us learn about the books of the Bible. We're gonna make ourselves a nice sign or something else that we can hang either in our room or somewhere else in the house that will help us start to learn and memorize all the books of the Bible. If all you have is paper and crayons, that's totally fine. You can go ahead and make a nice picture and then write all the names of the Bible on it. Another option, the one I went with at my house, was with popsicle sticks. I made the Old Testament hang just like this. Here are all the books of the Old Testament. Now, there's not just the Old Testament in your Bible, so make sure when you do your project, you do the Old Testament and the New Testament, and that way you can learn every single book. You can use markers, you can use crayons, you can get creative and use glitter, however you wanna decorate it. Make it something that you want to look at every day so that it will help you remember to look and learn all the different books of the Bible. Have fun, boys and girls. God wants us to dive deep. The Bible has all the answers to life and God is waiting for us to discover them. Thank you so much for joining us for Graceway Kids. I hope you've had a lot of fun digging deep into God's word. I wanna thank Miss Heidi, Mr. Ethan, and Miss Susie for all their help. And thank you for Mr. Steve for editing our videos. I hope you guys have a great week and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye everyone. B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I sit alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E.